Hi guys, my name is Victoria. I am a local search engine optimization expert and I focus on helping small businesses attract more clients online. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will find this helpful. So if I'm looking for a, um, a CPA, I would probably first ask, you know, a friend or family for a recommendation. However, if they didn't have a good recommendation for me, the next thing I would almost certainly do would be go to Google and I would type in CPA. I might put in Manhattan or Brooklyn or wherever my location is, or I might just put in CPA and Google would know where I'm searching from. So the first thing it would give me, it would be a series of these results here. This is called the three pack or the snack pack. And this is the three most relevant Google My Business listings that Google believes are most relevant to me. So as a CPA, if you want to get the most calls possible, this is a really good place to be, to be, you know, in the snack pack. Uh, majority of calls today are actually going to come from here. If I was really intent on doing my research, I might click on more places and then I will see uh, about a hundred more CPAs. There's 10 pages. And if I click on one of these listings, I'm going to get some results. Um, I'm going to get some reviews. I'm going to get some pictures. And of course I could visit the website or I could go directly to the office. But majority of people, they will either call or go to the website. And the next thing I'm get, getting here in search engine results will be these, uh, we call these natural search engine results. Uh, what you'll see here is a couple of directories. Uh, there's a Yelp on here and there's also some uh, offices, some CPA offices. Ideally, as a CPA, if you want to maximize your calls, you want to be here and you want to be here. However, like I said before, this actually gets more calls these days. So the trick for attracting more clients in line is always to appear in the GMB as well as the natural search engine results. Question is, how can you appear in the GMB? in the three path. Well, the first thing a lot of people uh, don't realize is that the GMB is very, very location relevant. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. I did a search, I uh, used a back tool called Local Viking for a local CPA firm. And what I found is that their office is somewhere around here. When you're searching from the area of their office, they will come up as number one. However, if you move a little over to the right, this is actually the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, they come up as number 11. And if you move a little more north, they don't come up in the GMB at all. So depending on where you are searching from, you may get completely different results when you put in CPA into Google. And this is really important to remember. When I work with a client, often they'll come up as number one from their office. But our job is to spread their area of influence outward this way, when somebody searches from here, they come up as number one and from here and from here. Right now, what I could do is I can actually click on these and I could see who comes up as number one instead. What you'll notice is that these results do change quite a bit based on location. Because the CPAs that I've encountered so far, a lot of people are not using good search engine optimization techniques. Getting to the top of the GMB is actually not super difficult. Uh, it's just not a very competitive industry when it comes to search engine optimization. And if you are thinking of doing this, it's a good thing for you guys, because you know, if we take another industry, I work in like law, uh, things are much more competitive and it costs a lot more money to get to the top. Whereas here, it's just, it's not, it's not super difficult. It's still, there's still work to be done, but it's not super difficult. So how do you get to this coveted three, uh, three spots uh, in the place like Manhattan? Well, for one thing, like I said before, you need to optimize your GMB listing. And what do I mean when I say optimize a GMB listing? A GMB listing is essentially a director, is, a, is an entry in the directory. And you can have a complete entry or you can have an incomplete entry. A complete entry would include some strong reviews. It would include responses to those reviews. It would include good pictures of your office and your staff. Uh, it might also include uh, other things that we can do to the back end. Um, this particular one has local guide 
review, and that's a that's a strong signal. In addition, we can create 360 pictures of your office, and all those things give Google a signal to present you more often than to present your competitors. Some of these things you can even do yourself, and some you would need to work with someone like myself. Um, if you notice, some of these listings don't look particularly well optimized. And so this one, for instance, it only has two reviews and there's no pictures, but it still appears at the top three for Wall Street CPA. And why is this happening? There is another thing you can do to your GMB. Uh, in Google's eyes, a link from a website is a vote of confidence, which means it measures your website in terms of how many reputable people link to you. But it also does the same thing with your GMB. If you have a lot of good backlinks and a lot of votes of confidence to your GMB, that will give you a huge advantage over your competitors, just like you can see here. Uh, these guys, they haven't really done much, but what they did do was they they put a lot of effort into the back end of their GMB and they put a lot of links. And I know that's not because I have access to this particular listing, but because I've done it for my other clients and that's just how it's done. Uh, so again, you can optimize it with pictures. You can optimize it with uh, asking clients for reviews. You can ensure that you respond to those reviews and you can do a lot to the back end, but to work on the back end, you really do need to work with a professional. Whereas the pictures, that's something you could even do yourself. So if you're not looking to invest right now, but you just want some uh, good advice, put more pictures up, put some pictures up of your office and respond to your reviews. A lot of people I notice in this industry don't, but that's actually a big Google ranking signal. The second thing you can do to attract more people to your GMB is work on your website. Uh, and that actually helps you in both the three pack as well as the natural search engine rankings. Remember, uh, ideally we want to be in, to be seen here and here, right? So if you work on your website, you actually help in both. And what do I say when I mean work on your website? Well, you want your website to include a lot of good content about the services you provide. You want it to be very clear and specific about what you do. Remember, Google is a machine, so you need to explain to Google exactly who you are and what you do. For instance, these guys are very clear in their description. They're a New York City CPA, and then, so this is a keyword variation, and they say the best New York certified accountants. So they're using both CPA and certified accountants, and they're using both the abbreviation of New York City and New York. So this is, this is set up correctly. Uh, the second thing that they did here, it look, it does look to me like they're working with somebody who uh, understands uh, something about search engine optimization, but ideally what you would want to do is explain the same things uh, in, in the heading, the first heading, whereas their first headings aren't actually set up correctly. So even though they did do a little bit of work, there is a lot more you can do back here. And the fact that they're coming up as number two just shows you that as far as SEO is concerned, accounting is not a particularly um, uh, challenging field right now. Very few of my colleagues are working in accounting. So if you did want to do SEO, again, it, it's not that difficult to do. You also want to make sure you include the services that you offer, and you want to make sure that these services are reflected in your GMB. You should have a nice write-up of every single service, and they should include about 1,500 words. Again, a lot of the accounting uh, firms that I visited don't actually follow this rule exactly, and that just shows that you know there is a lot of room for uh, growth in terms of SEO. Uh, there is quite a bit you could do to the back end of a website as well. So this is how Google sees that website we just visited. You can see they have 359 backlinks from 61 referring domains, which means 359 people linked to them from 61 websites. This is pretty good. This is natural. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I would be happy with this uh, if I just started working with a client. 
What you don't want to do is send too many backlinks to your website because Google is going to actually penalize you. I've actually had a couple of customers come to me who have uh, 10,000 backlinks from 50 websites and they are almost certainly getting a Google penalty. And we have to be very careful because again, like I said, a backlink is a vote of confidence, but Google is you know, well aware of how we work and they don't want us to create unnatural backlinks. So I would strongly recommend that you don't do your own backlink building. Uh, instead, you know, if you if you network with friends, if you are um, being featured in articles, those are natural backlinks. Uh, buying backlinks is very, very iffy these days. You have to really know what you're doing. So if people are calling you and trying to sell you backlinks, my suggestion would be just not to do it or just to work with somebody who really understands what they're doing. Of course, my services are available. If you guys are interested, uh, I would love to work with you. Um, but... If when we look at the back of a website, what we get is backlinks, referring domains, and we also see what keywords the specific website is ranking for. Just look at America. So this specific website is ranking for some brand terms, which is great. And they also ranking, as you can see, for CPA in New York City in position number six. Now you saw them on the GMB in number three, and they're ranking in position number six in the natural search and results, which are just to remind you, going to be down here. And they are somewhere over here. Oh, there they are. Um, so keep, actually, no, that's not that, but, uh, Keep in mind that if you are ranking for just one C a keyword like this, uh, that's good. But what you want to do is rank for as many of these as possible. So account in New York, account in New York City. And what we do when we work with somebody is we try to get them to rank for as many words as possible because that will attract more clients. So the idea is to create good content that Google is going to like. It's to send additional backlinks to the end of the website in a careful way. And it is to prop up the GMB with good GMB optimization as well as a backlinking campaign. And that's how we get to the top of Google and that's how we get you more clients. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that, but uh, it's a good place to get to start. If you are not re yet ready to work with an SEO expert, I would definitely encourage you to take a look at what your competitors are doing in the GMB to optimize your GMB a little bit and to at least make sure that the title tag in your website uh, is descriptive and explains who you are, what you do, and very important, where you are located. I hope you guys find this helpful. I'm here to answer any questions. Uh, there's no hard pressure sell here. You can just get in touch with me. We can chat. And uh, if I can be helpful, that would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.